I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy. I'm Jason Glaze, better known as Van Gogh. And uh, we just had an incident that I think a lot of people could uh, learn a lot from. Um, Jason, explain what just happened. I was flying this cap right here and batteries died on the goggles. Uh, so I just had to turn and try to hopefully avoid the trees with no, no screen at all. So I botched it in the grass, fortunately. Fortunately. And uh, unfortunately, the grass is up to just about our knees. And uh, we had a spectrum analyzer and, and we found it. I got within two feet of it. And I wanna show you uh, how this was done. So Jason's gonna power up the quad. He's gonna you know, put it somewhere back there in the grass without me looking. And then I'm gonna turn on the spectrum analyzer and go fox hunting. Now, while he's setting this up, uh, we fox hunted with a crosshair. You want an antenna with a good narrow beam without any side lobes. So a pepper box, you know, if it's on its side so it's laying flat would work. Um, a high gain helical will work. Um, and a crosshair will work really well. The crosshair is probably the best overall fox hunting antenna. So I highly recommend using the crosshair. But if you have a helical or something, that works great. Just understand, a pepper box is a 180 degree beam. And 180 degrees, that's not good for fox hunting. So turn it on its edge so, you know, so the elements are parallel. And then you'll only have about a 60 degree beam, which is excellent. So uh, looks like he's uh, on his way back. I don't really know where it is, but uh, this thing will. So uh, turning it on. As you can see, the signal strength gets much better as I get closer to the vehicle. As I turn away, it drops. Let's keep going. Whoop. And there's our quad. You did a good job of hiding that. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, so long as your aircraft is transmitting, you can't hide from a spectrum analyzer. So uh, I'll tell you what, Jason, you think you're gonna be flying without one of these nearby? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I mean, if you're gonna be flying in, in situations where you're gonna land in high grass or other difficult areas, Highly recommend having a spectrum analyzer because we had video feed in our goggles all over the place. Um, your goggles might help to get you within 30 or 40 feet, but a spectrum analyzer will put you right on top of it. So, uh, well, it's only a matter of time before I ditch one. So, till next time, keep them flying.